continues to progress technologically, I swear by Allah, faster than its growth in technology, it is retrogressing morally and spiritually. While life seems to become easier theoretically, in theory when you analyze life today, we have such advanced modes of transport, such easy ways of communication, in theory life seems easier than previous times, but practically life has become more challenging than the previous times. Tension, depression and frustration has wallah become the order of the day. Happiness, joy and prosperity is something of the past. The very fears that haunt the mind of every individual that are ever lurking. I must never become poor. I must never be diagnosed of cancer. Uh, this must never happen. The fears that are ever lurking in the heart and the mind of every man is sufficient depression in the life of every person. The only way to avert financial depression, the only way to avert and divert financial depression is to convince yourself that Allah is the sustainer. When you've convinced yourself that Allah is the sustainer, now the fluctuation in the currency, the fake predictions of the economists, the competitors in the market will not make a difference to you. So this is, this is the modern day poverty. That in the midst of affluence there is no joy. In the midst of comfort and luxury there is absolutely no joy. Nabi alayhi salam then said in the riwayat of Ibn Hibban, إِنَّمَا الْغِنَى غِنَى الْقَلْبِ وَمَنْ كَانَ الْغِنَى فِي قَلْبِهِ فَلَا يَضُرُّهُ مَا لَقِيَ مِنَ الدُّنْيَا No Abu Zar, wealth in essence is the contentment of heart. And no Niagara Falls and no Victoria Falls can give you that contentment that is divine from Allah. وَمَنْ كَانَ الْغِنَى فِي قَلْبِهِ The one who has contentment in his heart, فَلَا يَضُرُّهُ مَا لَقِيَ مِنَ الدُّنْيَا Then no amount of calamities and tragedies will harm this man, will depress this man. Nothing in this world will depress this man. Like they say, money can buy a house but not a home. Money can buy you a bed but not sleep. Person can be sleeping, you know, on water bed as they say. Insomnia is a medical condition that's only growing in the world. Deprived of sleep. And on the other hand, there is a beggar, a pauper, sleeping under the tree in mud traffic. The people are driving, people are busy, engaged, and he's enjoying the divine sleep of Allah in the shade that Allah has provided. I swear by Allah, the greatest contributing factor to depression is guna. Ask that young boy who after he takes a pill and he's on a bus and he's on cloud nine and he's, you know, floating somewhere else. As soon as he becomes sober, he goes through such depression that he's left with one of two options. Either he commits suicide or takes a pill again. There's no other choice in the life of that young boy. This is nothing, these antidepressant tablets, that is escapism. You are hiding the reality. You are disguising and camouflaging. You are not solving, you are not soothing. It's like a person went to a particular motor mechanic, he had a problem in his car. He says, you know what, as I'm driving, there's this very strange and peculiar sound coming out, and I can't trace the problem. So the motor mechanic had a look at the car, uh, but he couldn't trace the problem. He says, you know what, I can't really find anything, but I got a way out. I can solve the problem for you. If it really bothers you while driving, just put your radio a bit louder. If the noise bothers you, just put your radio and I promise you your problem will be solved without any money. I swear by Allah, that is antidepressant tablets. You have solved no problem. You have only camouflaged it, you've disguised it. The problem remains, become sober and it's worse than what it was. Like they say, having Allah on your side does not mean sailing on the ocean with no waves. It doesn't mean that. But having Allah on your side means sailing in such a ship which no storm can sink. That is what it means. It doesn't mean you will not have storms. You will have storms, you will have waves. But when you have Allah on your side, no storm will sink that ship. It is contentment. Grab onto it. I swear by Allah, if you have it, you're a king without a throne also. What did the Nabi of Allah say? Woman kan al ghina fi qalbihi. He who has contentment in his heart, فَلَا يَذُرُّهُ مَا لَقِيَ مِنَ الدُّنْيَا No calamities of this world will depress him. It does not mean when a man has contentment, calamities will not come. No, no, Allah will give him the strength to react differently. He will not get emotion by situ emotional by situations. Allah gives you the ability to focus on the reward promised in that challenge in Akhirah. My brother, you have tasted the fake pleasure. You've seen how it has deceived you. 
I call you in this gathering and I invite you and I implore you. I introduce you to divine pleasure. I introduce you to spiritual pleasure. Wallah, there is such pleasure in Salah. A time may Allah favor you with it, one and all. <coughs> that that moment comes in your life, Allah's qasam, where you will go in sajda. And I promise you, you will derive such pleasure. Allah's qasam in whose control is my life. You won't able to lift your head up.